This is the no mess method that's quick and easy as well as accurate. This ProBlend bottle proportioner is perfect for all kinds of liquid concentrates that you need to measure accurately and it's a must have tool if you purchase products in bulk to save money. Now let's take a look at a few washing tools. When it comes to choosing a wash mitt, you know, I get asked all the time, what's the best wash mitt, sponge, or brush? And the fact of the matter is, all the washing tools AutoGeek carries are top quality and best in class for their category. They all work exceptionally well, and when it comes to which one is best, that really comes down to personal preference. And the best way to find out which one is best is to test out a few different types until you find the one that's best for you and your car's unique shape and size. If you already have a style you like, then use that. If you're interested in seeing some of the different options available, then I've laid out just a few examples of some of the top shelf products available at AutoGeek.net. Now, we don't have time in this segment to go over all these different types of washing tools in detail. That would be a whole new video, but you can go to AutoGeek.net for information on all the rest of the different mitts, sponges, and brushes AutoGeek offers. For this video, I'm going to use the Cobra Blue Micro Chenille Wash Mitt because of the large microfiber chenille design. It's gentle to the paint and it releases accumulated dirt easily when rubbed over the grit guard insert. Next, we're going to tackle the washing process by slicing the car up into dedicated panels and then only washing and drying one panel at a time, starting at the highest point of the car, that's the roof. Here's how I slice up a car when washing with a rinseless car wash. I start at the top at the roof, but then I add a twist. I'll get the glass, the front, the side, and the rear glass, and then the horizontal panels like the hood and the trunk lid, and then I'm going to move to the vertical panels. But instead of just getting the whole panel, the twist is I'm just going to get the top portion. And the reason for that is because the lower portion usually has a lot more accumulated dirt. So I'm going to save that for last. After I get the upper portion of the vertical panels, I'll get the front bumper and grill. I'll move around to the back and get the, the usually there's a vertical side to most passenger cars, SUVs, and for example, the tailgate on a truck. And then after that, come back and get these lower portions of the vertical panels. And then for the wheels and tires, I'll switch over to a brush. Okay, let me clear some of these products out of the way so I can show you the proper way to perform a rinseless car wash. For demonstration purposes only, I'm going to wash half the hood and the driver's side front fender. Now, you would duplicate this same technique to your car, truck, or SUV washing panel by panel. Now, after I wash a panel, I'm going to need to remove the washing solution off the paint. And to do this, I have two different microfiber waffle weave drying towels. This first one is called the Cobra Guzzler Waffle Weave Drying Towel. And it's called the Guzzler because it just guzzles up the water off your car's paint. This other one is called the Cobra Guzzler HD Waffle Weave Drying Towel. And HD stands for heavy duty. And what this means is it has an inner open cell foam core, which helps it to absorb water like a sponge. Okay, so what we want to do first is I'm going to take and gather up some of the rinseless wash and gloss cleaning solution into my Cobra Blue Micro Chenille Wash Mitt. I'm going to take and just wash half the hood. Now when you do this, you don't want to scrub the paint, you just want to gently rub the mitt over the finish because all you're really trying to do is loosen the hold the dirt and any road grime might have on the paint. So two or three passes is usually more than enough. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to place this in my fresh water or my clear water bucket. And before I use it, I'm going to take and push it over that grit guard insert so any dirt that's accumulated will fall off and get trapped on the bottom of the bucket. Now to get this off, I'm going to go ahead and use the Guzzler HD. Now I'm going to use what's called the blotting technique. I'm just going to lay this down and just blot this water off like that. Come over here blot the water off of this section right here and this is very very gentle to the paint okay just like this and again with this inner foam cell core this just pulls the water off and into the microfiber and it traps it in there now I'm going to take and fold it in half and just give this a nice gentle wipe just 
just like that. Okay, and that's how you would do the hood. Now for the vertical panel right here, I'm gonna go ahead and again, I'm gonna take my blue micro chenille wash mitt and I'm taking it and I'm kind of scrubbing it down there against that grit guard so any dirt will loosen up and fall past it. I'm gonna bring it up. And this is kind of key. I want to wring some of this fresh water out, otherwise it won't absorb any of the clean solution over here. So now I'll go ahead and gather this up. And I've got some cleaning solution on here. Now I'm just going to come up and wash this panel. And again, you don't need to scrub. You just need to loosen the grip any dirt or road film has on the paint. So usually two to three passes is more than enough. Okay, again, I'm going to put this in my clear water bucket and I'll clean it before I use it again. And for this, I'm going to use the Cobra Guzzler Waffle Weave Drying Towel. I'm just going to come down here and just gently wipe the cleaning solution off, making a few passes over each square inch. And that's all there is to it. And that's how you use a rinseless wash to wash your car and a microfiber drying towel to remove the cleaning solution off the paint. I hope these tips and techniques for using a waterless car wash will help you the next time you're in your garage working on your car. For more information on the products used in this video, visit autogeek.net and on the left hand side navigation panel, click on the text link that says exterior car care. This will take you to a page where you'll find a link to our car wash products. You can also call our tech line at 1-800 869-3011, where our staff is always ready to answer any questions you might have. And don't forget to check out our fun and friendly discussion forum at autogeekonline.net, where you'll find me answering how-to questions and sharing new how-to articles. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and I'll see you on the next edition of Auto Geek's Show Car Garage. Now I just got to wash the rest of the car.